Hello everybody, hope that you're doing very well and welcome to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the local downtrend that we have started here on Bitcoin, how I am currently trading this and how I will be trading it over the next few days. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this one and let's go straight into it. As normal, I'm going to start off with, before I get into the price action right now and current trade that I am in, I want to go over, since the last video that I made, uh, you know, our move to the downside here, okay? So uh, firstly, I would like to start by saying, as a trader, it is so important. A, a really big skill that is, it might sound very easy, but many people struggle with is as a trader, knowing when to trade and when not to trade. Okay. So not being in a position is a trade in itself. Okay. And you have to know that when, when is there a high probability setup and when is there a low probability setup? Obviously when you're trading with low probability setups and that, that, that's the time to be out of the market, okay? You must have the patience as a trader to wait for the setups to come to you, wait for when there's a high probability trade, and if there is not, you have to have the... Um what's the right word I'm looking for? You just have to have the like force to, to say to yourself, I'm not going to trade until there is a setup. And really for me, over the last few days, there has been real, really like low probability. I refer to swing trades, okay? There was not a good swing trade for trading this to the upside, nor neither was there a good swing trade for trading this to the downside. It was a really low probability uh, range for swing traders, and it was very much a scalper's range, okay? So what I refer to here is, you know, you're looking for longs and, and shorts off the top and low, low of the ranges. OK, and really like in and out, in and out very quickly indeed. Uh, so that that's what we've been dealing with, obviously, the last few days before we have finally, you know, lost this channel. Uh, but really, you just uh, I just wanted to start off with that bit of knowledge of, of, of just like really enforcing and, and like highlighting that you you need to have patience as a trader. You really um, you're going to lose money if you are just trading to be trading and recognizing when there is good trades and when there is not good trades is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a necessary skill in itself. OK, so don't beat yourself up if you miss this move down, for example, because I, I don't feel as if, you know, it was it was a hard trade to have taken. Um, but uh, yeah, what I'm in right now is I am in a short position. OK, so I did manage to catch, uh, you know, the move as it was coming down. OK, and there was a few few ways that you could obviously have, t you know, kind of seen that this this move was about about to drop, essentially. OK, so what you can see here. Is obviously this channel that we've been following for you know the last few days. This channel, which would probably you know support support. You can see it if we zoom in a little bit here. Uh, it was like support again, and then it flipped into like resistance, 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 resistance. So you you had the channel uh, flipping from from support into resistance as well as the OBV giving you some bearish divergences. So you can see here how we are, you know, in a, in a local uptrend here just before the really big drop. Uh, but, you know, your OBV was like bearishly divergent. You were not able to make new peaks on this. You can see specifically on the last one, you know, new new peak reach, but no new peak reach. And then obviously you kind of fall off a cliff. So there was a, there was a little bit of a heads up that you could have seen. We have, you know, a mixture of OBV, mainly for me, the channel. OK, so mainly for me, this this channel, as you will remember, from my last video that I made, I, I must go over this channel again because, uh, as you know, this was our local 15-minute channel. And uh, watch the last video if you can't remember because it was a really, really good one indeed. Because obviously I was say, telling you all like live at the time, you know, I'm in this long trade at the bottom of this channel. And, uh, you know, I'm expecting a bounce to occur here and a bounce we very much got. It was a very, very, very quick and violent move to the upside. Absolutely lovely indeed. Uh, but, yeah, on that move, what we all, all we, all we essentially saw was a rejection. So I did close out of that long and go into a short. But these were all, you know, I want to emphasize like sculpt trades and not anything to do with like a swing trade, but just these in and out moves and you know, it is kind of the catchphrase of, you know, scared money doesn't make money because at the time after this really big move down, the majority are going to be scared and, and shorting. And that's where you see those violent moves to the upside. Just a nice example of that. But then you obviously go into like a swing trader's perspective that there, you know, at the end of the day, there was no real high probability trade. So that's why if you didn't like catch this downwards move, it's 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 not the end of the world. You just have to now trade the range that you are in. Um, you know, because I'm sure many people missed it because it, it was a pretty difficult trade. Um, so, yeah, what that leaves you with now is some like major support and resistances. And I, I would say that obviously your 6,000 psychological. So 6,000 psychological is going to be a support just because it's more of a psychological level than actually being a big level, um, to be honest. You know, really, this six thousand two hundred for me is is more of a support. But you're kind of gonna. It's very likely that you're gonna form a range. Okay, so we have to think what was the most likely to occur here. And I, I personally would envision a range forming, uh, really between like uh, six thousand three hundred. Obviously, you can see my monthly is six thousand three hundred eighty-three. 
and that's that's the same monthly that I've had Mark for a while. Look at this, by the way. I will show you this because this is just, I mean, just so lovely when you see this. Um, that when we obviously had broken down, so really, really big drop to the downside. Have a guess the level that you tested. It was the monthly to the dollar. Uh, so this is just like emphasizing these these monthly levels and weekly levels are just so perfectly amazing so perfectly amazing you know you see a really big move to the downside and this is the thing if you had missed the short so if you did not managed to get a short from higher up then this was your opportunity to get into it once you had broken the monthly and you sort of back test it here and see you know you see the rejection and come down then obviously it's it's, it's again more of a sculpt trade than a swing trade if i'm honest but nevertheless like to see the respect of these levels to to literally the dollar is just uh, yeah they're so 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 incredibly powerful and you can obviously make a lot of lot of money just like trading off of these these pretty simple levels so it's it's lovely 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 to see how that was so well respected um, so obviously we can say that that monthly is still our resistance level okay so this uh, this around six thousand four hundred resistance and you got around six k support. And it's very likely that you can put in a range between these two levels. Obviously, if you start to break above the monthly, then you're going to be looking towards 6,600 again, possibly up to 7,200 if you claim 6,600 again. And on the flip side, you've obviously got your 6K support. And if you lose that, you're going to be looking down to around 5,600, in my opinion. So quite a drop to the downside, you know, <laughs> the, the weekly down at 5,300. So there's more space to the downside. But uh, all you have to bear in mind is, is the funding rate. So you can see the funding rate is getting pretty expensive. I, I don't like to see the funding so high, um, if I'm honest, when I'm obviously in a short, because that means I'm paying to be in a short. So I, I don't really like that. So I will look to like close out of this and, and trade the range, if I'm honest. I, I, I don't like holding sh short positions, swing positions, when I'm like trading against the funding rate, really. OK, obviously, there's a time and a place to know when to do it, but I think it's likely we form a range. So I'll happily trade the range now, to be honest. Um, you know, <laughs> I literally woke up about an hour ago. So, yeah, uh, I hope that you are all doing well. I will say I I'm, I'm actually in my house on my own at the moment. So I have just like so much free time. It's, it's really weird. Uh, but yeah, obviously, because of the coronavirus, uh, my girl is like self-isolating. So we, I I'm literally just in my house. So I'm like just nerding out, like playing loads of Call of Duty. I never normally play. Well, that's a lie. I guess I do play video games, but not as much as I have been. <laughs> I've been like nerding out on Call of Duty pretty hard recently, but I'm just, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty bored <laughs> being alone in my house. Uh, but yeah, obviously I, 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 I might have had coronavirus or I might still have coronavirus. I'm, I'm, on, I'm taking a lot of uh, uh, drugs to like help me get through the... Uh, the pain <laughs> i suppose uh so yeah i hope that you are all very well i hope that you i guess so what i was going with this is i hope you stay safe okay so i hope that you are just you know stay indoors um you know there's no reason to be going out and use this time efficiently you know use this really use this time efficiently use this time to study 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 don't just you know waste your time kind of like me playing video games <laughs> use your time really well to to study use these few months to really nail trading get better at trading okay just use this time to get better at trading and you can see the advantages of being a trader okay you can see the advantages of of being able to work from home well most people are like losing their jobs right now you're able to you know literally make money what's this about a, a thousand pounds off of off of one simple trade in in in, in less than a day like it, you know over a thousand quid like it's not bad so um you know, there's massive advantages to obviously being a trader. Firstly, that you can work wherever you want in the world, and secondly, you're in a really big, uh, a really big advantageous position of of being your own boss, I suppose. So, you know, use this time efficiently. Use it to study, and um, you know, I, I honestly hope that you are all very well, and your health is well, and your family's health is well. And uh, at the end of the day, that's obviously the most important thing right now is is the health of everybody rather than trading. So, um, you know. If you can spend some time with your loved ones in your household, if you are self-isolating, then uh, then just trade. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to end on that one. Uh, thank you, everybody, once again. Look for this range to play out. You know where the resistances and supports are. And, uh, yeah, if you're interested in, if, you, if you're struggling, I suppose, if you're struggling with identifying where the support and resistances are, if you're struggling on how to identify these sort of setups, then obviously feel free to come along to... Uh, chartchampions.com where I will you know happily uh, teach you <laughs> exactly what you need to be looking for in these type of moves these sort of divergences that you saw here the channels to create uh, and you know obviously in the day I, I give updates uh, live uh, if you're in the champions group so yeah that's uh, what I'll end with thank you uh, once again and have a good one cheers bye